explodes, opening up a special Christmas Day edition of Top of the Pops. Well, although I spent most of 1981 in Atlanta, Georgia, several British records did make an impression with me. This more than most. That's all for Box and Vienna. With me, we have the Nolans. And I hope that you're having a really lovely Christmas. What a year it has been for Kim Wilde. Kids in America went to number two earlier this year. Here she is now. That's Kim Wilde. Nice head of hair, nice pair of boots. 17 quid, she told me. Last time I was on this program, I forgot the name of the Amen Corner. No chance of me forgetting the name of the um, uh, uh, Human Leagues. here on the special Christmas edition. Here I am surrounded by all the glamour and glitter. <sighs> I really must buy a licence. Down here there's a little lady who's going to sing one of my favourite numbers of 1981, Kirsty McCall. There's a guy right down the chip shop, Swayze Elvis! Well now, Top of the Pops on Christmas Day, a special programme with a special guest. Here is Adam Ant, ladies and gentlemen, right here. Now listen, you've had a fantastic year in 1981. Uh, throw this nastily at you after a Christmas lunch. Tell me exactly what were the highlights of 81 for you, Adam? Uh, meeting the Queen yeah. and uh, being presented to the little kids uh, for their bravery at Westminster Abbey, which was really good. Well, that was uh, about uh, 10 days ago, wasn't it? And since then, of course, you've opened a new show. How's that going? Prince Charming Review, 82. It's good. It's about two and a half hours a night. <laughs> So I'm glad these girls are holding me up. <laughs> right. right. And plans for 82? Um, try and repeat the success of 81. Thank you. Simple as that. Happy Christmas. Thanks for coming on Top of the Pops. Adam Ant. A very happy Christmas to you. A touch of the rotten romances here and some marvellous music on this edition of Top of the Pops. Colin Blundstone, Dave Stewart. Well, the drummer used to go to school with me. What becomes of the broken hearted? <laughs> Christmas Day on top of the pops, for heaven's sake. And if it's cold where you are, let's warm you up with something from the summer. You might remember this. If you don't, well, the beginning will remind you, because it's unique. It's the Jacksons, Zoo to Dance, and Can You Feel It? <laughs> Some of the guys here are a bit moody, you know what I mean? Uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Uh, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. You're bigger than I am. I'll tell you what we've got for you right now. It's Lynx! Intuition. And another one of the great success stories of 1981 was this hit from the Birmingham band The Beat. This is Too Nice to Talk To. I'm sure these members of Hot Gossip and Zoo will enjoy dancing with this worldwide dance hit by Spandau Ballet with the brass section from Beggar and Co. Here's chant number one. I don't need this pressure on. Terrible. Fine Christmas. Now then, a fine actress and a fine singer. It's Toya, and it's a mystery. It's a mystery. Be quiet, for goodness sake. Go. It's Toya, and it's a mystery. And I rather hope Father Christmas is going to drop you down my uh, chimney, but... He wouldn't agree, I don't think. <laughs> Two pounds a dollar. Uh, <laughs> OK, folks, a record which uh, we wanted to show on top of the box. We never had a chance to. It went into the charts so quickly, and then all of a sudden it went straight out again. The name was Laurie Anderson, and the record was... Oh, Superman. <laughs> gig for me. That was Laurie Anderson, no Superman. And I'm sorry about these people. I like to take the kids with me when I go out working. The band that's going to be the biggest band in 1982, Altered Images. <laughs> Altered 
damages. You know, it's been a great year for new names in the charts. Take orchestral maneuvers in the dark. Oh, yeah, indeed. He's got to agree. <laughs> also, a band from Basildon called Depeche Mode. Here they are. Depeche Mode, and I just can't get enough. Well, I sincerely hope that during this Christmas you get everything that you want. I'll see you for the Top 40 show during 1982, where all the records are going to be as good as this one. Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark, Souvenir. Yeah! Some maneuvers and souvenirs. Steve Strange and Ronnie have come along to help me on this one. Uh, Shaking Stevens had a couple of number ones this year. This was one that didn't make number one, it made number two. You drive me crazy.